Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to CyberLift and another FSD beta video. This morning we got 10.6 and we're going to rerun the same route we did the other day on 10.5 heading up to the Friars Road Supercharger. And we didn't have the best experience with that. And we're going to see if 10.6 does it any better. So as we pull onto this street, we will get it going. I also want to see what all the fuss is about with the strikeouts and how apparently it seems to be a bit overzealous on this build. I didn't really have any issues on 10.6, or sorry, 10.5, but 10.6 is the one that people seem to be complaining about. Let's see what happens. Last time we did this route, there were three disengagements. And of course, there's the issue with merging on to the 163 with that very, very short opportunity. I don't really expect paradigm shifts or uh, crazy changes when it comes to these updates. So I'm not really expecting all that much improvement over 10.5. I'm sure there's a lot more nuance to things, and as I get more time on this, I'll be able to give better feedback as to if it feels any different. In future videos, I really want to include more data towards the end showing not necessarily like miles per disengagement, but more so rather the total time or and distance driven on the beta and public builds to show just how much the car is doing versus just how much I'm doing and how that seems to improve over time. Here we go. We're very fortunate that there's really no cars around here. Um, okay, well, that I was going to say that was a really good left turn until it did that. All right, here we go. Moment of truth going on to the 163. Can it do it? All right, here we go. We got cars coming up. Come on, dude. Get over, get over, get over, get over. Uh, it's still a no-go. It still cannot do it. So that is disengagement number one, mirroring 10.5. We're going to get right back in this. Oh, hello, officer. This whole part of the 163, as I've said before, can be pretty chaotic. All right. Let's see how the rest of this goes. It really felt like it was going to do it. I think there's a disparity that's hopefully fixed once the stacks are merged, if they aren't already. I don't think city streets and the public highway build are on the same software stack. But I do feel like that's the limiting factor for that exit because I'll have to pay better attention to maybe the video when I actually go to put this up. But I believe it's switching from city streets to public build. Oh, there we go. Speedy Gonzalez over here. I believe it's going from city streets to public build, and that's where it's uh, not as aggressive or assertive in it being able to execute the lane change to get on. Because with the public build, you have to... All right, it's doing the same thing it did last time. It wants to take the wrong exit there. That's... In <laughs> this is exactly mirroring our last video. But again, uh, on the public build, when the vehicle wants to execute a lane change, there's extra steps, extra nuance. It wants confirmation. And there's the third one. Speeding into this corner way too fast. Oh, hang on. There we go. All right, don't feel like going over a rail today. And I've got this Toyota trying to cut me on the inside behind us. This is, this is humans, guys. This is human beings. And people are worried about autonomy. Goodness. All right, well, let's see how it does the rest of this. I remember predominantly three major disengagements when we did this uh, just a couple days ago on 10.5. So this time around, the Chargers closed. I, I guess we'll get to see why. There's three Chargers closed in San Diego today, um, which is kind of interesting. The A Street one downtown, the Friars one, which is rather new, um, the 48 stall supercharger here, which is fantastic. Uh, half of them are V3, half of them are urban 70 kilowatt superchargers, 72 to be exact. I'm hoping they overhaul it to where it's 48 V3s. It'll be the largest stall in San Diego. Finally get to rivaling some of the LA stalls. All right, here we're coming into a nice right round about. Not really a roundabout. Throughput, okay. Not too bad there. I had to compensate on the throttle just a little bit. 
I'm a lot more willing to give the vehicle throttle through certain scenarios to hopefully train the vehicle as to how the speed should be. You know, there's, there's a lot of cases where the car just gets on the brakes unnecessarily or will randomly come to a stop in the middle of an intersection and such, and it's just not right. So we have to do what we can to train it. We need to be getting the left lane. There we go. That was very similar to the last time we did this. Okay, that's that's just sloppy. Now we're diagonally in two lanes. Uh, this will be the fourth disengagement because I'm gonna take over just to <laughs> straighten us out. Ooh, all right, here we go. Let's see, well, let me go in now. Oh, all right, I'm gonna have to wait till we get through this corner. And we're back, all right. Whoa, that was so <laughs> unnecessary. Uh, I, you know, I'm, I'm not too upset about that one because that construction worker, that's a very small median and the car is really trying to make sure it doesn't hit anybody. So I can't be mad about that. I mean, it felt super, super just over the top, but hey, it didn't hit him and I didn't have to actually take over. It corrected itself. Um, as far as like a comfort factor, yeah. No, I don't think a customer I'm gonna be pretty happy with that. All right, here we come into a nice left corner. That was pretty good. I'm like hesitant to say things are good because then the vehicle likes to uh, say, oh yeah, you thought that was good? Well, watch this. Now, I've been giving rides on the beta to pretty much every customer I get. Um, and that's that's upwards of, uh, you know, 15 to 20 plus people a day, if not more, you know, if they have passengers. And uh, overwhelmingly majority an overwhelming majority of people actually really enjoy seeing the beta and are intrigued, excited, and just blown away by it. I've only had maybe one or two people in the last few thousand that have been like, no, I don't, I don't like this. That's interesting. We do have Teslas here, even though it's showing as the charger being closed. <laughs> I wonder why. I wonder if these people are actually getting any juice. <laughs> really slow right here, which I mean is okay. This is a parking lot. All right, come on, come on. Okay. Well, that was really bad. <laughs> really, really bad, just like last time. I think this is a pretty good kind of a benchmark route to gauge any major improvement. I mean, the system overall is still really, really great, truly. Um, that route, as we've discovered with the first time we went through it, is just really hard. For whatever reason, the car just wants to take the 8 instead of continuing on to the Friars Road exit, which is a really big mess up. Like that just feels sloppy. Missing an exit like that and then repeatedly flying into the Friars Road exits where I have to take over to avoid going off the highway. I mean, that, that's a pretty big deal. That's That just shouldn't happen. That's sloppy. That concludes our first impressions video of 10.6. Uh, if anything, it's worse. <laughs> take that with a grain of salt. This isn't supposed to be a dig, but you know, that was four disengagements. Take care everyone and I'll see you in the next video.